ho, ho, ho. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're gonna be talking about something that I'm super excited about, which is my new camera bag. So yeah guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, it's finally, the day is finally here. I've been wanting a new camera bag for a very, very long time and uh, finally got one. Also, if it looks a little crisper, I also got a new lens. So before we actually open this new bag, let me show you the ones that I've been using. So for my trip to Europe, um, we went in November with my wife and I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit on the safer side and I wanted something that wasn't too big that didn't really appear to be a camera bag just because being out of the country, security and stuff like that, it was my first time over there. So I wasn't really sure what to expect. So I actually travel with this Manfrotto backpack. I don't know the model, but it's pretty cool. It doesn't really have much space for camera gear. It has just a couple of slots and then some pockets and then a big pocket for a laptop and some extra stuff. I don't like it that much. It's a cool backpack, but I just couldn't put enough stuff in it. So when we came back, I kind of looked around and I, I already had this other backpack. It's uh, It was actually my first camera backpack. It's a USA gear. Um, but just like the other one, it doesn't really have that much room for camera gear. And since when I go and I move around, I carry a 70 to 200, a 24 to 105, a 10 to 18, and my 50 mil, along with some other accessories. I wanted something that was gonna be big enough and secure enough. So this USA gear bag was just not secure enough for what I wanted and it kind of looks pretty cheesy. So with that being said, let's get to opening my new backpack. Woo! So yeah, guys. Here is the box for my new backpack. A little background information on this backpack. I wanted something to look cool, something that was durable, something that I could just take around and beat up and I wouldn't be really concerned. But the one important thing that I wanted on my new backpack is that I wanted the big pocket, the I guess the major pocket to open from the inside. So when I open this backpack, I'm sure you guys have seen it around, you saw my title, so you know that it is the Low Pro Pro Tactic 350. Um, but I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna tell you why I picked the 350 over the 450, which is probably the most common, but first we gotta open this. I don't have a knife with me, so I have a cool little screwdriver. Sign little one. So, I know this backpack isn't the most affordable backpack out there, but it looked awesome and it looks, it has great reviews. Tons of people use them um, and there's a reason why. Lopro is probably the main camera backpack, maybe next to Think Tank, um, but I just really like the look. Um, woo! So here it is in its little pouch. Oh, so here it is, the Lowepro Pro Tactic 350. Um, man, this backpack's cool. The reason why I went with the 350 and not the 450 is because me and my wife travel quite a bit, or at least we try to, and I like to just travel light and have a relatively small backpack. The 450 is huge. We travel a lot on like Spirit Airlines and those low cost, and they're a pain when it comes to actually putting a um, size regulations on what you're really allowed to bring with you. So I think this backpack basically fits every regulation for every airline across the board. So I'll be actually able to bring this anywhere I want. That's mainly why I bought the 350 and not the 450. So basically has a cool pouch up top, which actually gives you access to the main pocket. If you want to set your camera in here, you can just Put your camera in there and just easy access. I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm all done setting it up, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because next week I'm actually gonna be talking about the gear that I carry with me. So if you're interested in gear and stuff like that, make sure to come back next week. We'll be talking about all that kind of stuff. This backpack also has two side pockets that are just pretty tiny, but they're cool for little accessories and some other stuff. Then it has the main compartment, which opens from the back side, so you can see it. 
and that's that's it. It has enough room for what I need, which is two camera bodies, four lenses or so, um, a flash, and then some extra little accessories. It's got plenty of pouches on this side. It has room for a laptop up here, up to 13 inches, which is perfect for me because I normally carry around a 13 inch MacBook Air. I know it's not the best for editing, but it actually works all right. Um, I know that eventually it's gonna die and I'll eventually have to upgrade to something a little bit better, but for now, it works. And yeah, it has enough room, I mean, has enough room for everything I need, so. This is my new backpack, so I'm gonna show you guys now what it looks like with everything and give you a quick preview of what I actually carry around, but I'm not gonna go into detail why or what it is exactly, but just a little quick review of what I carry around. So I'm shooting on my phone right now, but I was able to fit my ADD with the 24 to 105, my one lens there, I have a second lens here, with the microphone over it. I made this long pouch where I have accessories here. The second body is eventually gonna fit here. I have my 70 to 200 down here. Accessories all over here. Laptop's gonna go up there. And yeah. So you guys, that's it. That's my new backpack, the Loper Pro Tactic 350. I guess I'll do a full review once I've used it for a few days, so, or maybe a couple weeks to really make sure that it's the backpack for me. But uh, for now, yeah. This is the, oh, I can't. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it for today. That's the Loper Pro Tactic 350. It's kind of on the medium smaller size, but it's perfect for what I want because I don't wanna be carrying around a ton of stuff. Um, what I did not mention before is that it came with a bunch of little pouches um, try for hooking up your tripod on the outside and maybe a water bottle and just extra accessories. So. We plan on doing a couple of cool trips later this year, which those will probably come really handy, but I will tell you guys about that when the time comes. Um, for those of you guys who are new to the channel, I know over the last couple of weeks I've gotten a few more subs, so welcome. I hope you guys enjoy what you see here. Make sure to sub, make sure to like this video, leave me a comment down below if you want to see anything else, and uh, keep an eye out for my video coming out this weekend about the gear that I use. Uh, with that being said, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.